Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss what is a virtual private network does and explore the various types of VPN available in the market. Using a Wi-Fi network, especially in public areas like shopping malls and coffee shops, poses a potential security risk. But uncertainty arises because we cannot determine whether the internet connection is secure or not. Hackers may exploit vulnerabilities by deploying packet sniffers in the gateway, enabling them to capture our data. This can lead to the inadvertent exposure of personal information to third parties, some of whom may have malicious intentions, such as hijacking our banking credentials. What is a VPN capable of? A VPN offers various capabilities, concealing a wealth of information, such as your browsing history, IP address, location, and details about your endpoint devices. It can be a Windows computer or smartphone. Cyber criminals frequently exploit unsecured connections to obtain information, leading to identity theft and other malicious activities. A VPN solution plays a crucial role in countering these threats by establishing an encrypted tunnel for all your data transmission, ensuring that your online activities remain private and secure. Another good example is seen in countries like China, where certain servers are restricted, such as the prohibition of playing YouTube videos. In such scenarios, a VPN becomes invaluable by tunneling your request through another country that permits the playback of YouTube content. This way, the VPN acts as a bridge, enabling users to access online content that might otherwise be restricted in their current location. In the context of this VPN meaning, a VPN solution safeguards against nefarious activities by establishing an encrypted tunnel for all your data transmissions, ensuring they remain unobserved by others. Essentially, it transforms a public, insecure network into a private one managed by you, enhancing the security and privacy of your online interactions. VPNs are highly applicable in corporate environments, offering centralized security policies for all employees. Security enforcement measures can be implemented to restrict access to sites that might hinder productivity, such as social networking or online shopping. Additionally, Data security can be further enhanced through VPN split tunneling. This feature allows users to route specific traffic through the VPN while maintaining direct internet access for other types of traffic. For instance, live video streaming can go directly to the internet, conserving bandwidth utilization over the VPN tunnel. For businesses' point of view, in order to ensure employees can be accessing to corporate data from anywhere such as branch or home, making server to be public isn't a good idea which expose the data publicly to the hackers. VPNs can provide safe and secure data sharing between employees and with individuals and groups outside of the business when necessary. We will discuss how a VPN works to keep data secure. A virtual network achieves data privacy through encryption, transforming your information into unreadable text that can only be deciphered using a key known to your device. While various VPNs employ slightly different encryption processes, the fundamental method involves tunneling. During this process, your data is encoded as it travels between your device and the server. Subsequently, the server decrypts the data and sends it to your destination such as a website. This encryption mechanism serves as a barrier, preventing hackers who might intercept the data between you and the server from deciphering its contents. There are two major types of VPN connection can be deployed. It is Remote Access VPN and Site-to-Site -site VPN. Remote Access VPN provides the tunneling connectivity in between a remote endpoint such as computer or smartphone to initialize a tunnel back to VPN server. Site-to-Site -site VPN is more applicable to branch and headquarters idea, which it can be tunneling from branch to data center or in between branch to another branch. Furthermore, a site-to-site -site VPN offers a more cost-effective solution for connecting corporate locations compared to using expensive WAN connectivity, such as MPLS. By leveraging site-to-site -site VPNs, 
Organizations can establish secure and reliable connections between different offices or branches over the Internet, reducing the need for dedicated, high-cost infrastructure like MPLS lines. This cost efficiency makes site-to-site -site VPNs a practical choice for businesses seeking to establish secure communication links between geographically distributed locations without compromising on reliability. Two of the best-known and widely used secure network protocols and VPN technology are IPsec and SSL. IPsec connections employ pre-shared keys or digital certificates on both clients and servers to encrypt and facilitate the secure exchange of traffic. On the other hand, SSL VPN utilize public key cryptography, similar to HTTPS, to securely exchange encryption keys, ensuring a robust and protected communication channel. We are going to discuss further about the comparison in between IPsec and SSL VPN. First, IPsec is operate in OSI network layer whereby SSL VPN is on application layer. In the deployment of endpoint VPNs, IPsec necessitates the use of VPN software to establish a VPN tunnel. On the other hand, SSL VPN offers a more flexible approach to endpoint connections, allowing users to connect through a web browser, similar to accessing most well-known websites using HTTPS. Additionally, SSL VPN provides the option to use VPN software for establishing a full tunnel connection, offering users versatility in how they choose to establish secure connections based on their preferences and requirements. When it comes to application access, with IPsec full tunnel established, users gain access to both TCP and UDP-based applications. In contrast, SSL VPN with its thin client and browser-based approach has limitation. It allows access primarily to TCP-based applications and a restricted set of well-known apps, such as email, file sharing, and browser-based applications. If the need arises to access all types of applications through SSL VPN, establishing a full tunnel requires the use of SSL VPN software, similar to how it's done in IPsec VPN. This ensures a broader range of application compatibility and functionality. Performance-wise, IPsec VPN generally perform better than SSL VPN as they use UDP instead of TCP and encrypt data at the network layer, which introduces less overhead. In terms of connectivity, IPsec VPN offers both site-to-site -site and remote access VPN solutions. However, SSL VPN currently supports only remote access VPN. In conclusion, the choice between SSL VPN and IPsec VPN hinges on specific use cases, performance requirements, and compatibility needs. SSL VPNs are often more suitable for remote access scenarios, providing a secure means for users to access specific applications or resources on a remote network with ease of use and broader platform compatibility, relying solely on a web browser. IPsec VPN find their strength in site-to-site -site connections, effectively securing entire networks or subnets over the public internet by various types of security parameter. By comprehending the distinctions between SSL VPN and IPsec VPN, you can make an informed decision that aligns with your organization's secure networking needs. Whether you seek granular access control for remote users or robust site-to-site -site connections, one of these technologies is likely to meet your specific requirements effectively. Recently, SSL VPN has bolstered DTLS to improve performance through the UDP protocol. In addition to DTLS, XDLS represents an enhanced version of TLS, incorporating a newer messaging protocol called XMPP negotiation. This results in a reduced overhead, delivering performance that is 10 times faster to the original SSL VPN with TLS version. If you enjoy this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.